ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਕੋਲੰਬੀਆ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਜੌਨ ਹੋਰਗਨ ਨੇ ਵਿਕਟੋਰੀਆ 'ਚ ਉਸ ਕੰਮ ਬਾਰੇ ਇੱਕ ਘੋਸ਼ਣਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਜੋ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਸੰਯੁਕਤ ਰਾਸ਼ਟਰ ਘੋਸ਼ਣਾ ਪੱਤਰ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਜੀਨੀਅਸ ਪੀਪਲਸ ਨੂੰ ਲਾਗੂ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਨਾਲ ਮੂਲ ਵਾਸੀ ਸਬੰਧਾਂ ਤੇ ਮੇਲ ਮਿਲਾਪ ਦੇ ਸੂਬਾਈ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਮਰੇ ਰੈਂਕਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਸ਼ਾਮਿਲ ਰਹੇ uh grand chief stuart philp has dedicated his entire life to moving these issues forward and and it's been a life filled with struggle a life filled with joy and a life filled with the culmination of that work in november of 2019 but today is a particularly important day and if for no other reason than to hear rosalie say as grand chief would have loved if this isn't making you uncomfortable you're not doing it right that sounds like something that grand chief would have said uh, without any uh, any hesitation whatsoever so i thank you rosalie for bringing uh, bringing grand chief stuart philip into the room in your words today it is uh, also a time i would like to acknowledge uh, some of the people that got us here uh, scott fraser uh, who uh, stepped away from politics uh, to pursue a, a real life uh, and uh, giving space uh, in doing so to to uh, having murray come and join us and i'm grateful for murray's arrival his vast experience uh, his understanding of these issues goes back decades even to 1966 and uh, that's a great asset to the government of British Columbia to the people of British Columbia and indeed all of us as we work through these challenges um i also want to acknowledge three people that had a profound impact on me over my uh, the evolution of my thinking on these issues firstly jim manley who was a member of parliament and the uh, ndp critic for indigenous relations it was called something different at the time but he was the first person i worked for coming out of university and he instilled in me the importance of addressing these issues of of justice on the land of reconciliation long before these terms were were on the tips of everyone's tongue and also two individuals Ian Woodell who's no longer with us and Tom Berger another a great statesman from British Columbia who dedicated their lives uh, to reconciliation and the rights of indigenous peoples uh, watching and observing them as a young man becoming an older man and sharing stories with Murray who is even older who had has allowed me to better understand the struggles that have been on all sides of this question i don't want for a minute to leave anyone with the impression that the work that has been done by legislators is anything remotely compared to a life a lifetime generations of hostility with the government of British Columbia and the government of Canada please don't misunderstand me but there have been people for generations who have worked to get to where we are today and we need to acknowledge that and i know all of us will lift our hands to the people who came before us indigenous and non-indigenous who were committed to the tasks that we have before us we cannot step away from our past the joys and the sorrows but we must we must learn from it and although it has been uh three very challenging two and a half very challenging years whether it be wildfires floods uh atmospheric rivers heat domes pandemics what all of those challenges have meant to all of us as individuals and as a collective in British Columbia is if we're going to get through these challenges best we do it together best we do it with a foundation of understanding that the first peoples those represented here today 